I'm so over this. Do you hear them? When I do this this time, this better work. This better work for me, okay? I can't take it. I can't take it, y'all. All right, let's get this started and get this over with so that I don't have to hear them anymore, okay? Let's go. Hey, y'all. Hey, welcome back to my channel where we do things my way. Yes, I've been MIA for a little minute, but I'm back here with another video. And this time we're going to do some DIY. So first of all, let me say, you know my disclaimers. I don't live far from the trolley. And I live near a neighbor who, act, no, I live next to a neighbor who acts like they're bipolar. And at this point, my neighbor has family over there that is just like incredibly loud and annoying. Okay, so a little bit of backstory house next door to me is like a halfway house okay for relatives okay it's not really halfway house but it's like this it seems like every time something happens to someone in their family like if somebody's down and out or something like that they end up coming and living in the house but whoever ends up coming and living there and staying there is usually on some level of ratchetness that i can't even explain to you and how loud they are it's just so freaking annoying and I can feel the toxicity and just bad energy that comes from them when I hear them and it's annoying to me and it's in my bedroom. So a couple of months ago, I decided to do something when someone else in the family was living there and was making a lot of noise, which helped me out a lot. It muffled the sound that I was hearing and it made it so that I was able to go to sleep at night without any interruptions i could still hear things but it muffled the sound so good that you know even if i did hear a little something it wasn't enough to like keep me up at night well the female that's in there now she is so loud i just i i don't i don't know if it's a cultural thing i don't know but she's just hella loud and I can't take it anymore. What I'm thinking of doing because I do not want to move out of my house. Now, I know people will probably say, now you could go and move someplace else. I've thought about that, but then when I think about the money that I'm saving while staying here with the amount of space that I have, I do not want to move. So I just gotta put my head together like I did last time and think of a way to help some of this noise level dissipate. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do and you know what I'm gonna do might help you if you're in this type of situation, okay? So let me just show you what I did first. Let me show you what I did before. As you can see, I have this curtain up here. There's no window behind this. This is just the wall to my next door neighbor house and this is the part of the room where I like my bed to be, okay? So what I did was I just took these curtains and I put up these panels, these sound panels underneath here, which help muffle the sound, okay? And these sound panels, these are what the panels look like, okay? So they're basically just acoustic panels that you would see people put in like a studio or something like that. These are the panels that you would see people use and it's to help deaden the sound or help it so that sound doesn't echo or travel. But what it does for me is it helps to muffle some of the sounds that I hear coming from that side of the room. The other thing is those are not soundproof curtains they are blackout curtains but because they are blackout curtains they also help to muffle some of the sounds because they're very thick because they're designed to black out the sun i'm going to show you what we have today to help knock out some of this sound a little bit even more okay now if you are in the same situation as me and you would like to do something like this to help 
yourself have some sanity and lower some of the sounds that you might hear in the house next door to you, especially if you're in Philly, because you know, majority of our houses are connected. So you are always connected to somebody. Well, not always, but in most cases, houses are connected to each other on both sides. So you'll have a neighbor, like I have a neighbor over here and I have a neighbor here, but this neighbor, I never hear, I love her, never hear her. These people over here, child. Anyway, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need acoustic panels, okay? So they range in price. I get the ones that are 12 by 12 and two inches thick. Um, they have some that are one inch, but I don't recommend that. Then the other thing about these is that when you get them, they come like this, okay? So in order for them to ship them to you, because I get the, I usually get the 24 pack. There's no way they could fit. Like if you look, those are some of them. Some of them are still in the dryer because I use the dryer to make them pop up. But um, they're too thick for them to send them in the mail. So they're vacuum packed and sealed and squashed, okay? So I just wanted you to see how they look before I open them up. And the trick to this is when you get them, they're gonna be very flat. So when you get them, they will be in, they will be in a pack like this and they will be like thin like this, see? But but if you put them in the dryer, they will pop up just like this. Now the blue ones, for some reason, take a little bit longer and they might not pop up the same. So what I suggest is with the blue ones, if they're not, if you get them and they're not getting inflated by putting them in a dryer, soak them in water first and wring out the water and then put them in the dryer. I think it's a chemical situation with the blue ones. So the blue ones might take a little bit more work for them to pop up and inflate, but they'll inflate just the same. Then what else you're going to need is these are some soundproof curtains. Like these are actually sound proof curtains they are heavy as heck okay those are heavy too once you put them up there but these are even heavier because they are purposely for deadening sound that right there in this box is the bar that's going to hold these and hopefully i'm praying inshallah that that bar is able to hold this weight because these things are really heavy they're heavier than those are and that was kind of hard to put up anyway with that not being as heavy as these are so i'm praying that that works i got some gloves because what i'm going to do is when i put the new panels up that i got i'm going to line them up like this so in order for them to stay on the wall, I have some adhesive spray, okay? I'm going to use this adhesive spray instead of using the little stickies that it comes with because it's just more time consuming. So I have some clear gloves so that I don't get the stickiness all over my fingers. Then I have some sliders which i put under my bed so that i can easily move my bed because my bed is solid wood and it's very hard to move it so i have these easy sliders they're called super sliders Let me show y'all they're called super sliders all this stuff that i have to do this i got it all from amazon so I'll uh, leave the links below so that if you are interested in doing it, you'll be able to purchase it too. And let me just say, when it comes to these, as long as you get the 12 by 12, two inches, you should be good no matter what brand it is. I usually pay like 30 something dollars 
for the 24 pack of these, but I found a brand that was selling 24 packs for $17. So shop around for these so you don't spend a whole bunch of money. If all else fails and this doesn't work, I'm praying that it does. Inshallah, this works. I also bought a, a noise machine. I also bought this noise machine so that it can help me drown out some of the sound that I hear from there. Like I said, I put those panels up before and it has helped to lower the amount of sounds that I hear coming from there. But I noticed that when I have my space heater on or a fan on, it also drowns out sounds, but sometimes I'm not hot and sometimes I'm not cold. And I don't want to waste that energy or put myself in position to be hotter or cold. So I got this machine to give me that sound of, you know, the heat thing. What's it called? I just said it. Space heater. That thing right there. Let's go ahead and begin. I know before when I first did this, I don't think I did the top row. I don't think I have enough panels for the top row. I didn't do the calculations. I should have did the calculations. I did not. I think I'm going to do the try to do the top row too. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want it to be seen up there. But I think that I'll be able to do it so that you can't see that black stuff. Because that'll just, that'll irritate me and get on my nerves. Oh, and you need a ladder too, okay? Duh. But um, let me go ahead and get started. And hopefully this works, y'all. Please let this work. Please, oh my, please, Lord. Please let this work. All right, let's get to it. Okay, y'all. So what I'm doing right now is just moving all the excess stuff from around my bed so that I could put these sliders on the bottom of my bed in order to move this heavy behind thing. But I got them on there. And yes, your girl moved it all by herself, okay? Okay? So I moved that away from the wall and oh yeah, I found a hair clip back there. But um, I moved that away from the wall in order for me to get up on the ladder and take down the curtain that's up there already. And I kept on saying bar, but I meant to say that this is a tension rod. So you just have to find them on uh, Amazon, like how you would find a shower curtain rod. You just would make sure that you get one that fits the length of the area that you're trying to put it in, okay? And so right here, you can see I started, uh, it's working, that adhesive is working. I'm so happy I'm being productive. Yep, mm-hmm. Here we go to the next one, to the next one. Yep, and then right about here is when I realized I don't need these gloves, so I took them off okay and i got right back to work so let's just go ahead and watch this time lapse of me getting these things up on the wall <laughs> Look at how big this place will feel, even on the outside. Yep, that whole building. Whoa. The life of a hijabi. Now, this was behind the bed. I don't walk past there a million times. And I don't know how I ain't step on this, but alhamdulillah. Go well, back to business. At this point, I'm almost to the bottom and I started using blue, but I just want to tell you, I have no rhyme or reason to the color coordination. Almost finished. I don't know if I'm going to do this top row. No, let me not say that. I believe I'm going to do this top row, but I'm not going to have enough to do this top row today. I'm going to have to order some more, but um, yeah, I'm almost finished. And then the next thing I'll do is put the uh sound curtain up i do hear a difference i still can hear them oh and let me say this it's not going to take out the sound completely it's just going to deaden it a little so that it doesn't sound as loud it's not as obnoxious it's not as noticeable you could still do whatever you're doing in your room and it won't bother you as much so let me go ahead and continue to finish okay okay so at this point in the process, I am just doing the last 
edge and the edge is bigger than no the square is bigger than the edge was so I had to cut the square just the bottom row off to fit the edge and since I did that I decided to use those pieces for the top now I'm opening the second tension rod that I have that's going to hold the soundproof curtains underneath the decorative curtains okay and I just had to let you know this because I didn't realize that I didn't tape me putting up the decorative curtains but this is what it looks like underneath and I just put up the decorative curtains the same way I am so hot so I'm going to close this right here as you can see I am super tired but see how you can't tell what's going on behind there and it's a whole bunch of stuff going on behind there right that we don't want nobody to know about yeah try this for yourself tell me if it works for you like I said I had to double up the amount of the acoustic panels that I had to put on the wall just to help with the sound and then I put a whole nother sound curtain underneath the regular curtain so your girl is tied okay it is now nighttime i've been doing this all afternoon i am hot and sweaty because i was up there standing up heat rises but i'm happy with the outcome as you can see i added one extra layer of acoustic panels to help with the sound that comes from over there, I added a sound curtain and then I added these curtains back up. But I do think that I'm going to get a second set of these curtains so that it can look more full and it'll also help with the sound too. But I'm still going to use the sound machine because I just, I really like sound when I'm trying to go to sleep, like the sound of a fan, um, the sounds of something continuously going a white noise but i do feel like the sound over there has gone down a little bit more because of this and like i said you guys if you try this please know it's not going to stop the sound completely it's just going to help to minimize it so you don't hear it as much so this is just something i had to do to help myself out and i hope it helps you too and you guys i'm going to be doing a room makeover I started this process with these curtains, but I never got around to finishing it and I'm ready to do it. So if you stay tuned to my channel, I will have a complete room makeover and I'll show you what I do to make this, you know, a little bit more unique and tasteful and just make me love my place even more and make me want to enjoy myself in my room even more than I already do. So I will see you guys on the next one and thank you for watching. Peace.